Did you just recently get a silhouette and you're curious of how to make stickers using your silhouette machine? Stay tuned because today I'm gonna to show you how to do it. Hi, I'm Crystal. Welcome to Design Bundle's YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button as well as that notification bell down below so you guys do not miss any of our crafting tutorials. Now, if you guys are not new here, you guys may have been waiting around for some silhouette tutorials and today is the day. So stay tuned because in 2023, we are definitely bringing the silhouette back in strong. We've got lots of tutorials coming up, so definitely make sure you guys stay tuned. For today's video, we're going to be going over how to make stickers using your Silhouette machine. Today I'm using the Silhouette Cameo 4, but you could definitely do this with your portraits, you could do this with the older cameos and all of the things. Now, I wanted to ask you guys if you guys have seen the new auto feeder that you guys can get and it's going to be perfect for making stickers to use along with your Silhouette Cameo 4 as well as the Silhouette Portrait 3. If you guys have seen that, let me know in the comments below. and also let me know would you guys be interested to see some tutorials using that because I think it would be great especially for somebody with a small business because you load all of those sheets in at one time and it's going to cut them out for you but I definitely don't want to purchase it if it's not something you guys are interested in but if you guys are interested and you guys want to see tutorials with it drop those comments down below and we'll definitely make it happen Jumping straight into Silhouette Studio, we are right here on the canvas. Now, once again, if you guys are new to the Silhouette Studio, we've actually done a basic video to go over the basic version with a lot of these settings, and we have a whole series on that. We have a couple different videos. I'll try to link those up above or down below so you guys can definitely check those out. But today, we're gonna keep it nice and simple, show you how easy it is to bring in those stickers and make your very own sticker sheets. All right, so let's go ahead and start bringing in those stickers so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is come up here to this file folder right up here at the top I'm going to click it and then we are gonna go ahead and go to downloads you can find that folder that you're working with mine is this one here now sometimes with some of our files you will have a complete sticker sheet so right here these are all individual but sometimes amongst those will be one sheet that includes all of these stickers on one sheet just to make it a whole lot easier but for this bundle it didn't so I want to show you how could you work Work with something like this and so what we're gonna do is we're going to click on our very first design hit ok all right so let's add in our next one so what we're gonna do is we're going to instead of going to this folder here we're gonna hover all the way up here at the top and we're gonna have a few more options I'm gonna go to file and I'm gonna go down to where it says merge so it's going to allow us to add these all on the same page if you go to open and you click on another one it's just gonna open another page so it actually open another other tab right here so you want to make sure you use that merge so we're going to just select another one hit ok and then we're going to go back up here again file merge and continue to grab a few more so i think i'm going to go ahead and grab this one here and i also want to grab some of the smaller ones like the hearts and things so we'll go back up here to file merge and then scroll down here i'm going to grab this one and then i'm going to come back for those flowers as well All right, so I'm getting to my last few. I think I've got a few small pieces. So now I'm gonna go back and grab maybe one more of these designs. So maybe like this one right here. I don't know, this one right here, I think. All right, so that is good. Before I size these down, I'm gonna go ahead and prep up my canvas. As you can see, I've got an eight and a half by 11 piece of material here on my mat, and that's perfect. But I wanna go in here and I want to add the registration marks. So what I'm gonna do is go right over here to this tab. So it's this very top one right here. You're gonna click on it. It is called page setup. And then we're gonna go right here to to our registration marks so what I want to do is turn it on and this is going to give us the registration marks so I know how big I can print so what we want to do is you see these red lines right here we want to stay within those red lines so we're gonna do that now if you need to adjust your canvas piece so for example if yours is already at a 12 by 12 and you're needing to adjust it to that eight and a half by 11 you're gonna do it on the very first tab so right here see where it says media size I have mine on a letter eight and a half by 11 but you can change your 
yours right here. So if yours is already set to a 12 by 12, you may wanna come in here and save it to the eight and a half by 11. So just like that. Now you can also from this exact page show your print border. So if I uncheck this, you see where that black line is. This one right here is disappearing. So that's giving you that print border and then show cut border. So to show you how far, which is that red line, you can see right there. So you can have those on or off as well. So just depending on your preference. So we've got those so we can visually see everything. And now I'm ready to size this down. Now, if there's anything that you need to mess with, like for example, your cutting mat, I have mine on auto, you can definitely do that here. Or if you were cutting without the mat, you can do that here as well. Um, and then you can also choose your machine and all of those kind of things. Mine's already ready to go, so we're gonna start to work with those stickers. So what I wanna do is kinda size these down to be maybe around two to three inches or so. Um, some of them I'll have a little bit smaller than others, like for example, like these plant pieces. I may bring those in to be just a smidge smaller. I'm gonna first go through here and just start to size some of these out and kinda get them about where I want them, and then I can really start to play with that layout. So I'm just gonna grab each one of these and kind of play around with that until I'm 100% happy. I think I'm gonna keep this flower one kind of big. So I'm gonna kind of get it there, maybe about there. It looks good to me, move that thing down, get our heart here. And then if you want to duplicate these while they're already in here, you could definitely do that as well. So if I decide I wanna go in here and um, duplicate my heart, I could do so. Now you can see that I've actually selected everything together at one time, so I can actually even size all of these down to around three inches just, just to get started. So that's another thing you can do. So when you first bring them in and they're all piled there, you can select them all and do that as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to get these guys kind of moved around here. It looks good. I may bring this one in just a little bit further like that. We've got this one here. And hopefully you guys can see here with this, you can see there is a red line right around here. So that's where it's going to cut. So all of these are already ready to go for your stickers. They're just going to cut that offset for you. All right, so I'm gonna adjust just a little bit more. I need to move this little plant up and over just a smidge. Now if I need to rotate these, I can just simply grab this little green dot right here. We're just gonna rotate that guy just a little bit. I need to make sure that none of these red pieces are touching each other, so I'm just gonna bring it up just a little bit more. I think we're gonna be good to go there. So this is absolutely perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to go to send, and then we're gonna get ready to print this thing out. So from over here, you're gonna see our print preview. This is gonna show us what it's going to print out like. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with adjusting and getting ready for the cut settings. So I'm gonna choose my material, which is going to be sticker paper. So I'm gonna go over here and type in sticker, enter. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose sticker paper white. And you may need to play around with your cut settings. So depending on what material you're using. So when it comes to Silhouette, they even have their own. They have holographic, they have, they have glossy ones, they have matte ones. So definitely check out the options that Silhouette has. I prefer to actually use shipping labels that I grab on Amazon. I'll have them linked down below for you guys. I get like a box of 500 for 30 bucks. So it's just way more affordable to me. And then I add a laminate sheet on top if I wanted it to be glossy or even have a glitter to it, even a holographic. Now you guys stay tuned because I have a video coming up very soon. I've grabbed some of the Tech Wraps um, holographic glitter laminate. It's gonna be coming very soon. So make sure whether you guys have a Cricut or a Silhouette, stay tuned for that video because it's coming up very, very soon. Now, as you can see, it is set to auto blade and we are gonna have it set to cut obviously. And so you can see our blade depth and all of those. So depending on your cut, you could definitely do a test by clicking this button here and cutting out a small little test square. It's gonna let you know if these are working. If not, you can come up here and definitely adjust these um, and get that very particular cut setting and then you can save it. So that way you always know what cut setting to use for that material. All right, so let's go ahead and print this out. So we've got the auto blade, like I've told you, it is already loaded in Never One's housing. And then I've got my printer set up. I'm using a Canon today, just an inkjet. I've got my sticker paper loaded. So to print this, we're just gonna come up here to print. You see this little printer right up here? We've clicked on that and you can see, this is perfect, this is what it's gonna look like. So now we're going to hit print. If it wasn't, you could back back out of here and go make any sort of adjustments you need to. So I've got my Canon shows and we're ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit print. 
And here we have it. We have our printed sticker sheet. I'm gonna show you guys really quick so you guys can see those registration marks. So compared to Cricut, if you guys are familiar, um, you guys know that it's just a black border where you get some different little, you get a square here and a couple little corner angles there. So that is our setup. And now we're ready to load it. So I've got my silhouette mat here. And so I'm gonna make sure I get it loaded all the way over in the corner. We're gonna get that loaded down just like that. And now we are ready to load it in our machine. So what we wanna do is line this up with the white line right here. You have a white line with two arrows. So we're just simply going to load that there. And then we're just simply going to click that first arrow, the arrow pointing upwards to take it in. So now it's ready. So you can see now where it's telling us we are ready before it was saying load material, it's ready. So we're ready to send this over. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit send. So with this, it's gonna go in here. It's gonna read our registration marks. I definitely think it's a whole lot faster reading those registration marks compared to Cricut. But if you hear with a silhouette, it's definitely a whole lot louder. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. Um, but if you guys are silhouette lovers, this is so easy to make stickers, honestly. All right, so it's ready. It's gonna go in here now. It's adjusting that blade, getting it at that exact depth. And it's gonna go ahead and start zooming all the way around these and getting them cut out. All right, so it is done. So now we're ready to hit the unload. So to unload this, we're simply going to click the down arrow and we're ready to go. So the best way to take these off of the mat is to flip it upside down and then you're basically peeling your mat off of your material. Now, when it comes to the silhouette mats versus the Cricut, they are definitely way more pliable and movable. And also, make sure if you guys are interested in how to clean your mats, you guys definitely stay tuned on that because we have a new tutorial coming out very soon, but we also have another one. We did it with the Cricut, but it's the same thing. So I've showed you guys some tips and tricks on how to clean these mats. So I'll link it up above. All right, so now you guys can check out these stickers. So much fun, love, love, love. Now this is just a matte white sticker sheet. Once again, these are just shipping labels and I love these. But if you wanted to add the gloss on here, all you simply have to do is add a, a clear laminate sheet or something with a sparkle. Really quickly, I'm gonna show you those sparkle laminate sheets. Hopefully you can see that here. You can get these in 12 by 12 sheets. So for example, these ones right here actually came from 143. There's two of them. These are by Style Tech. Um, there is a smaller glitter and there is a chunkier one. And this is basically like adhesive vinyl is what it is. It's a glossy adhesive vinyl. So you're gonna put that on top of it. So you definitely wanna trim those down to go in between. We've done tutorials with the Cricut, but if you guys wanna see a tutorial with that, with the silhouette, definitely make sure you stay tuned on that. But just to show you here, this is what your sticker sheets would look like once you add that sparkle to it. It is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna pop one of these guys off and see if I can't show you a little bit better. So you would do this and you would cut it, you would add the laminate beforehand um, before you completely um, cut it out. And that way your cut settings would be on your adhesive vinyl. You may need to really bring in that pressure to cut around those. So depending, if you want something that is gonna be um, where you could get it wet, you have it on your laptop, cell phone cases, your car, um, these will be perfect for the weather and the rain. Or something like this, um, whenever you're just using almost like a paper, if you will, sticker, um, it definitely can ruin. But here we go. So to show you really, really quickly that sticker sheet, it, it's perfect. It is a kiss get. So the settings that I used was the sticker paper white, and it worked absolutely perfect. This is called a kiss cut. Now, if you wanted to do a die cut, you could simply just bring up your pressure and you could even change it to a cardstock setting if you wanted to, and it would cut these all the way out to make them individual so that you could stick them into your packaging or maybe stick them on, you know, pass them out. People could stick them on their tumblers or whatever, but it is the perfect kiss cut. Highly recommend that you guys check out the labels from Amazon, the box of those. You can even get a smaller box if you wanted to. I think you can get like a box of, 50 for maybe around let's just say eight dollars or something like that so a little bit more affordable if you don't need a ginormous box but i bought my box years ago and i'm still working out of it i keep them in that same box and just kind of pull out the sheets as i need them but there you guys have it it is so so easy to make your very own stickers using your silhouette now once again keep in mind that we do have stickers as well that has that sticker sheet but you guys could see how easy it was to customize these bring them in and i could actually even load way more 
anymore. So for example, if I was gonna have an Etsy store and I was gonna sell stickers and they were those little ones, you could possibly even get two sheets on here to where it had all of those pieces and then you're gonna use your paper trimmer just to trim around all that excess and that way you can list those stickers and sell them. It's a perfect way to make stickers for your planners, like I said, laptops, cell phone cases, all of those different things. But if you guys have a particular um, silhouette tutorial you wanna see, whether it is using adhesive vinyl, iron on. You guys want to see a more in-depth tutorials on certain things inside of Silhouette Studio. Please let me know because I'm making my list currently right now for all of the videos that we are making for 2023 using our Silhouette. And you guys let me know if you guys did get this Silhouette cameo for what color did you guys get? You guys know I had to get pink for the studio here. You have probably seen it sitting back there. Now I also own the Silhouette Portrait 3. So if that's also something that you guys want to see, I'm definitely let us know. And I do own the Silhouette Cameo 4 in white that's a little bit bigger. I think it's the plus. There's several different sizes. It's not the biggest one, but it's the one that's a little bit bigger than this. One other thing that I definitely want to get in, and I'm curious if you guys are wanting to see and showing you guys how to cut materials without the mat. And then I also wanna show you guys the punch out. So if you guys did not know, there's actually, which would be perfect for these die cuts, there's this punch out um, that this can do. So when it cuts out, it cuts out leaving just a tiny little string almost holding these on and you just punch them out. It's perfect for cardstock projects and all sorts of different things. So that way if you were selling those, the, it would stay intact and then whoever, you, whoever got them could punch them out if you will. So if that's something that you wanna see as well, please, like I said, let me know but love making stickers and I hope that you guys will too and you guys can see how easy it is to work with this. I do love Silhouette Studio but sometimes it's just very complex um, but you can see I really didn't go into very many functions and I was able to accomplish this. I hope that you guys have found this helpful. If you guys did please let us know in the comments below or simply give us a like to let us know that you guys found it helpful. Once again if you guys are new here please consider hitting the subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you guys don't miss any of our crafting tutorials. Bye for now.